What is up guys, it's me, MW3boy, bringing you some more Black Ops gameplay on Black Ops Sunday. Now I believe this is episode 4 of the series. And then, uh, yeah, episode 4. And then we're on episode 3 of the Real Card Experience, which I'm really excited about. And I'm hoping to bring another video sometime today because I'm really bored and, yeah, I really don't want to do schoolwork. But anyway, guys, today's topic I want to talk about is... Oh, ah, crap. Hold on. It was MW3 and how it compares to Black Ops. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Modern Warfare 3 and how it compares to Black Ops. <coughs> so, let's start with weapons. So, as you can see, I'm using a submachine gun. Forget what it's called. But it's a really good gun. Like, if you watch the gameplay closely, you'll see it's a really good gun. But, yeah, I like the guns more in Black... Not, sorry, not Black Ops. Uh, MW3, because... Well, I don't know. I just like them. I have better aim with them. I get better kills with them. Yeah. Well, minus the AK-47. I'm not really liking the AK-47 in uh, MW3. I like it more in Black Ops. Don't know why. Oh, yeah, see? I mowed that guy down. But yeah, guys, like, the AK-47, in my opinion, in MW3, is not the best. <coughs> That's why I recommend you always use, like, the CM-901, I believe it's called, or the UMP-45. Or you can probably even use the, ah, uh, crap, ACR 6.8. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. But yeah, I recommend those guns. Another thing I want to compare is Nazi Zombies to Survival Special Ops. Now, this is the first time we've actually seen like Survival and Special Ops and all that for Modern Warfare. But yeah, I find it interesting. Like, I really like the system and how it works and all that. I mean, yeah, it's so well organized and it's easy to get where you want to go. And yeah, it's just a whole new Call of Duty experience right there. And then Nazi Zombies, well, we've had Nazi Zombies since, like, World at War, so it's nothing really new, but <coughs> it's pretty fun still. The only thing they really did was, um, made the characters talk and all that, you know? Like, gave them a little dialogue when you're playing as them, and then, uh, well, they made the map bigger, and it's more detailed, and there's more enemies you can face. I mean, I'm really liking this new Nazi Zombies. But I think in this comparison, I would say survival has to win, you know? And then, finally, I want to talk about the campaign on both games. Now, in Black Ops, you play as Alex Mason, right? And then, he's kind of brainwashed or something. I can't really explain it, because it was a little confusing to me, the campaign. I mean, I can understand that... Uh, Dragovich did something to him, but, you know, come on. I, I don't see, like, the point of this. I mean, I still like the campaign. Like, it's good, but, you know, people have their opinions. And I think, well, it's not the best. Now, MW3, on the other hand, picks up where Modern Warfare 2 left off. Which left off where Modern Warfare left off. And then, all together in the campaign of MW3... It brings the whole story of the Modern Warfare series together. So yeah, like, I like how it just extends the series throughout three games, and yeah, it's pretty interesting. So yeah, I think also in this case, this, the campaign for MW3 wins, not only because uh, it was better, but because they always had the same protagonist throughout the game. Well, except in Modern Warfare, but... Um, yeah, they had Makarov in MW2, and now he they have him in MW3, so... Yeah. But, yeah, guys. I forgot to mention, I went 16-3 and three on this, and there was a team death match, as you can see. But, yeah, the gameplay is about to wrap up here pretty soon. But, anyway, guys. If I were to choose what game I like better, I would say MW3. Black Ops, don't get me wrong, is a good game. It's just weapons aren't the best. 
except the gun I'm using right now, and the Magnum, the AK-47. Yeah, I need to actually test other guns out to see if they're good. But anyway, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to bring you another video sometime tonight, or maybe next Saturday or Sunday. Okay, see you guys. Have a good day.